What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it is a sunny day, but as I don't know if you can tell from uh, the uh, video, let me let me spin you around here quick. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see that on, on camera, but it is uh, it is snowing, uh, which is very, uh, it's very November-ish, you know what I mean, in the Poconos, so it'll be super duper nice. And then uh, all of a sudden be uh, snowing like it has been. So today we're gonna continue on with uh, the STI. Um, I'm gonna show you guys real quick what I've been uh, dealing with. So uh, I did a couple things off camera, which I'm not really happy about because I should have probably showed you guys exactly what was going on. But uh, you know, whatever. It's it's uh, par for the course, so whatever. Uh, but yeah, let's look inside the STI here, and I'll show you exactly what we got. So. The shifter, I've been having issues getting it into gear, and I have no idea why. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Uh, so no clutch, no clutch in, right? And I'm just going to, well, of course it's doing it now. Well, wait, nope, nope, There, there's fifth gear. Can't get into fifth gear at all. Let's see if I can get into sixth. No, sixth gear you can get into. Fifth gear, sixth gear you can get into. Three, four, five. Well, see, five. You can't get it fifth. And you can get it in sixth, and you get it in reverse. So, um, yeah. All right. So let let's start the car real quick, and I'll show you exactly where this goes. So, clutch in. Oh, well, don't need to clutch in. I'll, I'll show you. So, uh, start the car up. All right. So I'm gonna go in first gear. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that. It's very hard to get into. Yep, hold on. Pirate. Nah, I don't want to do that. Alright, so. Alright. Alright, so. As you can kind of tell. Uh, I don't want to kill myself, so I'm going to turn the car off. Alright, so. At, I don't know if you can tell what was going on, but. I could not get it in the gear without, like, forcing it in. So, that's the issue that I've been kind of having. Um, now, what you guys probably don't know is when I bought the car, when I bought this car, it was sitting outside for probably, I'd probably say eight months or so, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. I, I'm not exactly sure. The last owner could kind of tell you, but I, I don't really know. Um, but uh, it, it was sitting outside for a little bit because uh, he had some legal stuff going on with the car and whoever built it or blah, 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 right? So has nothing to do with me, but uh, something that, I realized when I bought the car and tried to work on it is that the uh, slave cylinder, the uh, clutch slave cylinder, was uh, was stuck. So what I did was I brought it over to the bench over here and I got my four inch, uh, what do you want to call that, like clamp. And I just twisted it, turned it in, and made sure that it opened and closed. I don't know, I, I would say regularly, but it's never going to be regularly. It was kind of like um, welded into a spot. So like it, it would not go, the piston wouldn't go in or go out. So I had to kind of force it. So I don't know if that's really the cause of the issue, but uh, I've asked a couple of my friends um, and that's what they kind of suggested to me because like I, I did tell them about what was going on with the slave cylinder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change over the slave cylinder. I got like the only place that really have it in like a day or two. Uh, I got a Duralast piece and uh, I'm gonna show you exactly what this is. So let me set the camera up and I'll show you. All right, so this is the new piece here and everything that I need. All right. So here is the new clutch slave cylinder for the STI. Uh, you know, th there's really not too much going on with it. It's just brand new. And look at that. I I I'm gonna tell you this right now. So see how far this is out? See how far, like, uh, it's really hard to tell. But it's probably maybe an eighth of an inch sticking out of that hole there, uh, as you can tell. Uh, let me, I, I will tell you this. When I had the STI out, the one that I had that's in the car right now does not even come, it doesn't even protrude out. 
You know what I mean? So already, I, I think that this might be the issue with the transmission shifts and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna set this to the side, uh, all this stuff. So it, it comes with a boot, which I took off, obviously, and your uh, your your rod, <laughs> rod. Uh, but yeah, so everything is there for you to actually get this job done. All you gotta do is just take everything apart and do it. So uh, what we're gonna do is I'm going to get to uh, undo the battery. That's uh, rule number one, obviously. Pull the uh, negative, well, I, I probably have to pull the positive side of the battery. Only reason why is because I gotta take the uh, this upper intercooler pipe off, I have to take the starter off, and if I touch or arc anything off that starter, that, that positive wire will be live. So pull the uh, positive side of the battery on this install, and then uh, I think it's like two 14s to get the uh, starter off, and then two 12s, I think. I think they might be two 12s to get the, uh, the uh, slave cylinder off. But uh, I'll show you step by step on how to do this. So let's go. Okay, people, so uh, before I start, uh, and let me grab my flashlight here. Before I uh, even take this bad boy off, I'm gonna show you exactly how far this bad boy is sticking out. So look at that. See how that is? See how it's like in inside there? Um, yeah, I think it's, a, it's supposed to be way out here. So I think this has been my issue uh, the entire time with this bad boy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this bad boy off. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna reuse these copper O-rings or what I'm gonna do. But uh, I will say this, it is very, very important that you lose as little uh, hydraulic fluid as you possibly can. So one of two things that you can get, uh, either get yourself clamps like these, they're like Harbor Freight stuff, super, super cheap, or you can get yourself like, well, the, these are, uh, I've had these for a long time. You can use one of these. Uh, I have smaller ones somewhere. Also smaller. I don't know where they are. I, I did have a set of small ones, but anyway, uh, just get yourself a set of these kind of clamps like this. Uh, and super simple, just like you would do on any kind of brake job or anything like that that you're gonna be doing. Uh, and go like this. Oop, let me come down a little bit. I don't wanna pinch it too, too much. Like so. See how that looks. All right. So I got as close, I got as close to the, the front here as I possibly can. Uh, I don't wanna go too, too much closer than that because I don't wanna mess it up. But uh, what you need to do is you need to take this bad boy off. I think it's the 14, uh, the, the bolt. And then, uh, yeah, we can go over there and we can compare a couple things. Uh, as you can tell, what I'm already looking at is way different. But uh, give me a couple minutes uh, and I'll get you over there. Let's go. All right, people. So like I said before, just look at the difference in these two bad boys. Uh, one is just old and crusty. Uh, so yeah, we're definitely gonna be changing that stuff out. But one of the things that you wanna make sure all the time, whenever you buy brand new parts, you, you always wanna make sure that the stuff looks somewhat identical. You know what I mean? Just so that like, you know, and uh, you know, that it's the same or whatnot. Uh, but hold on, let me, let me get the rod real quick. Okay, so let me just take this off. Okay. Do, 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 do. That goes there goes there so let's check out the rod length here the rod length is maybe a little bit shorter maybe a little bit but not much not much so looks really really good again that is about as far out as it's gonna go and you could you could kind of tell like it it's it's in there a good amount 
Whereas is this one, you can uh, you can easily tell. I guarantee you any money that this is, whoa, 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 chill, chill. Ah, oh, look at that. Holy crap. That just, whoo. All right, so that obviously comes out with no problem at all. It's almost like a red bracket. <laughs> red bracket. Anyway, all right, so let's, uh, let's start getting these bad boys back together. So let's go. Okay, people, so now that I actually have the, uh, I'll show you here. So now that I actually have everything kind of buttoned up down here. So, uh, yeah, all right. Looking, it's looking pretty good, looking pretty good. So now what we gotta do is we have to bleed it. So I think it's a seven or eight mil back here. And uh, I have this little Harbor Freight deal here and uh, it's been really, really good to me, so. This is what you're gonna need. Uh, All right. So this is what I use: Little Harbor Freight Dealy, and uh, make sure that you have one of these ends here. What you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna stick it onto that nipple, and you're gonna open that bleeder, and you're just gonna pump the brake or pump the brake, uh, pump the clutch pedal. Now, when it fills up. Uh, it will go down to the floor. You're gonna have to manually pick it back up. That's just how these, the Subaru and Evos are. Uh, once it's actually, uh, you know, got air in the system, it'll go all the way down to the floor. So I'll demonstrate, I'll put this uh, nipple where it needs to go and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Cause what you're gonna look like, what it's gonna look like whenever you're, you're uh, solid here, it's, it looks exactly like how you would if you were to do the, uh, the brakes. So you're looking for a steady flow of fluid coming out of your uh, your slave cylinder. So let's get that going and let's let's rock it. All right, guys. So hopefully you guys can kind of see um, what I did was uh, it's the nipple is you know I have that you know the bleeder uh, unscrewed and uh, I have the uh, everything kind of ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the car and I'm gonna just uh, pump the brakes, or uh, pump the clutch sleeve. All right, so I got no real fluid coming out. Well, I might have had a little bit of fluid coming out. I don't know, can't really see. looks pretty solid so hopefully you guys saw there is uh, some fluid that came out of there which is exactly what you need uh, most of my uh, pipe here my tubing is got a lot of fluid in it and uh, oh, am I going the right way yeah uh, most of my fluid is solid in here so all I got to do is just close this bleeder now and Hopefully I can get this. All right, let me get this and uh, I'll be back to back. All right, everybody. So uh, it is, uh, I have it all done. Well, it's dark, um, but I have it all done. Uh, I bled it and all that. 
it was just, it's it's really weird. It's got this. It's still got this weird uh, clink to it at the very top of the uh, at the top of the travel. But uh, let me open up the door over here and let me see if uh, if I can go through the gears a little bit easier. Look at that. Remember remember when I came out before? It was really really sunny. No snow on the ground. Yeah. Look at that. All right. So let's uh start this bad boy up and see oh wow All right. see if i can start this and go through the gears a little easier so let's see how this well, feels a little bit better well we'll see what what happens here people so it's it was a weird test drive uh that clutch slave cylinder I, I don't know if it fixed it or like what what the case is but like i probably have a probably three quarter pedal travel so uh i gotta figure out a way so i don't know if that's really gonna help me or hinder me i, I have no idea but uh i got i gotta find out how to actually properly um bleed the slave in this sti because it's very weird like i still have this weird pedal like i'll let you listen all right i hopefully you guys can hear that but uh it, it like it's like a spring at the very top of the pedal travel so i don't think that that's normal i think it's supposed to be really nice and smooth uh but it, it, like and still with these gears it's still still really really tough to get into which is very very weird so i hope that it, i hope the guy that it's not the transmission but uh i don't think that it is i think it definitely got something to do with the clutch slave but i don't know i went to duncan uh me and the wifey and uh yeah so we're gonna wrap this video up hopefully uh hopefully next video i can give you guys something um i i don't know if i will be able to uh but this this might be something that like i might just pay somebody to actually like bleed it if i can't figure it out um but i don't know we'll see like i'm so close so close to actually like getting this car on the road that i just want to start driving it you know what i mean so uh i don't know we'll we'll have to see for sure but uh i heard i smelled some smells me and danielle but uh i think it's probably just all the uh all the stuff that's going on with the car as far as like new parts so i don't know uh i think we probably have 10 miles on it so with the whole setup so anyway uh enough of me rambling i'll definitely see you guys on the next one if you like what you saw uh like comment subscribe i will see you on the next one all right Deuces.